Hello and welcome to the introduction to Motion Studio for TrueSpace tutorial series. My name is Design Devil. I'm a TrueSpace user from Germany, so be a bit patient with me. My English is not the best. And let me start uh, starting to tell a little bit about myself. I'm using TrueSpace since version 3.2, and it's a long time now. I'm still using TrueSpace version 6.6, .6. and I also love CG animated movies. Why not? Um, at one day I want to create my own little short movie and I tried this with the True Space internal bone system but I found this uh, bone system really stupid and I uh, searched for a solution and I found Motion Studio and Motion Studio is a plugin for True Space and it's a really really uh, powerful um, inverse kinematic bones system for True Space. So uh, the first question is where can you get uh, this plugin. Um, the best way is go onto the developer site. This is primitiveitch.com. Go onto the download link, and here you can download the pro version of Motion Studio. It's freeware since uh, 2006 now, and yeah, makes a lot of fun to work uh, with that. Okay, uh, after installing Motion Studio, start your true space. As I said, I use TrueSpace version 6.6. .6. Motion Studio should also work um, with TrueSpace version 7 and up uh, on to and just only onto uh, the modeler side. So here we go. Um, press the install new TrueSpace extension button and on the open file dialog choose the Motion Stu Studio Pro TSX file, click open and a new icon appears here. Click on it and the Motion Studio window appears. Okay, um, normally it looks like this here. The first and important thing um, normally Motion Studio Pro disables the auto record uh, function from TrueSpace, and this is really important. Uh, be sure every time you want to use Motion Studio Pro uh, that auto record is set to off. This is important because Motion Studio has its own system to record keyframes and otherwise um, TrueSpace creates us uh, a lot of keyframes that we don't need and that we don't want. So be sure that auto key is off. Okay. The next thing is, um, let me show you really quick how, it, uh, how a standard joint appears here. Now it is not important what I do here, I don't want to show you that, um, because in the default installation uh, on every bone are two joints, one on the root and one on the tip on every selector is uh, here showed through a sphere and the sphere has a lot of vertices and in my eyes it is better to have here a cube instead of a sphere because we uh, don't need so many vertices and uh, TrueSpace and also Motion Studio has nothing and uh, not so many um, vertices to calculate. So how can we do that? Uh, quite easy, let me close this and let's create a new scene and create a cube no matter which size, no matter which texture it has, we just need the 8 vertices from this cube. So now go on to File um, by the way, you cannot see my, my menu here because I have a other uh, monitor resolution, so it it goes downwards, but it's no problem, I tell you what I will do. So go on File, Save as Object. And under the Save Object dialog, uh, search and choose your TrueSpace installation directory. In my case, this is uh, Hard Drive and MRC, Programs, uh, TrueSpace version 6, and go into the TSX folder and save this cube as joint bars joint bars dot cob file so create a new scene uh, whoops uh, open the motion studio window create a new skeleton and now you can see There are no longer spheres here. Now we have a cube here, and that's much better. So, 
Um, that's enough for preparing uh, Motion Studio so that we can work with it. And let's go to the next chapter.